Hey guys, I've seen a lot of variations of this problem. I wanted to share it with you. This is only one equation with two variables, so it would not be possible to solve for x or y. But it is possible to get an exact value for this expression right here. And if you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. This x plus y squared means x plus y times x plus y. And then we're going to subtract this x minus y multiplied by x minus y. There is a shortcut for this. It ends up being x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And then we're going to subtract this one and we'll just use the shortcut for this one ends up being x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. For the next step, we can copy all this down. But for this one, the subtraction needs to get distributed to all three of those terms. So this is negative x squared, and then negative times negative makes this a positive, and then negative times positive makes it a negative y squared. And now we're going to combine like terms. We have a positive x squared and a negative x squared. They cancel each other out. We have a positive y squared and a negative y squared. They also cancel each other out. And then we can combine the 2xy plus the 2xy to get 4xy. And now for the xy, that is what we were given at the very beginning xy is equal to 104.75. And then after we do 4 times 104.75, we get 419. And that's the answer to our quantity x plus y squared minus quantity x minus y squared. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.